I was interrupted again, but okay. Um, as I was saying, I'm going to actually mount a separate switch somewhere, probably over here, that I'll just put, that I can flip to put the power antenna up and down, because I, if I just connect the wiring harness to the, uh, accessory wire, then the power antenna would always be up as whenever the head unit was on, not just the radio. So I'll probably add just a secondary, or just some little switch here that I can put the antenna up or down whenever I want to, even if the radio is off, and that way I can just manually control if it's up when I have the stereo on, or off if I'm just using the auxiliary inputs like I'll normally be doing. Okay, so, yeah, I pretty much went through everything that I have to do, so, this, uh, this kit did come with some screws and bolts and washers, so, or nuts, so, Basically, what I'm going to do, I'm not going to use the mounting screws. I'm going to use those, the bolts and nuts to hold these top brackets on. These, they look like they'll fit right through there, and that way I won't really have to have this threaded, which will be nice. That's probably what you're supposed to do, but whatever. And... I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I'll start the video back up when I'm done. Alright, so I got these on hand tight. I'll have to figure out what size they are and get them on tighter before I actually fully mount it. But basically, I also have to cut off the, the top holes still, but basically I'm ready to... Unscrew the stereo, which is pretty straightforward. Just remove the four screws. Make get a ratcheting screwdriver it makes it so much easier and faster and then you can set these screws to the side since they look different than the vent screws, I can also sit them up here next to the idiot lights. So, or at least that's how I see it, because I can easily tell the difference. These up here are a little hard to reach. But if you have skinny fingers, then you can do it. You may notice I have some wires spliced into the cigarette lighter adapters because before I decided to install an aftermarket stereo I had an FM modulator installed so I could still play my own music through this stock stereo because my tape player doesn't seem to play my adapter cassettes and the CD player it pulls the CDs in and just kicks them out a second later so I don't know what's up with that so now I can pull this out, and it weighs a lot, so.
But... I'm I'm going to go ahead and connect up my wiring harness and yeah and I'm going to cut off these holes and stuff and get it mounted in there and then you can I'll have you join me again when I find a spot to put the ground wire because it, there's no ground wire built into the harness I have to find a radio ground wire somewhere on the body and when I find that I will start the camera or whatever again or at least show you guys when I'm done where I put it so yeah